Hello and welcome back, as always my name is Lazar and today we're back in Heroes of the Storm with Artanis Hierarch of the Taldarine sporting this awesome purifier skin and if you don't know what the purifier is all about then I highly recommend you guys playing Starcraft 3. It's actually a very enjoyable experience and the lore, mwah, absolutely top notch. Talent level 1, we're gonna go with Amateur Opponent and today as you probably guessed it by now we're gonna talk about Artanis and the meta. But first the two teams, Artanis, Jaina, Tracer, Stukov and Sergeant Hammer while on the enemy side you will find the Haka, Lily, Varian, Nazebo and Genjutsu. We have Hammer on top all alone, ideally I would have wanted her here though. So we can push with, so we can push with. So how is Artanis doing in the current meta? And I gotta say boy, not so bad, not so bad. Major League flips for Artanis, here we go, good amount of damage. Keep in mind that during the early game, uh, Varian is not particularly tanky, okay? He needs talent to get his tankiness, and we don't even know if this guy is actually gonna build tanky or not. So he's doing quite well, about a 52% win rate if you want to pay attention to hot slogs. Now, about hot slogs, guys, now, you should take everything with a grain of salt. It's not official blizzard crap, but now, W, okay, I waited for his parry to wind down, and then that's a good amount of damage, and the explosion will guarantee first blood, good damage on the Genjutsu as we back and away from this situation. Artanis and mana issues during early game, slight mana issues, and let's talk a little bit more about the talent at level 1. Amateur opponent is the uncontested meta, simply because that talent here is so bad, I mean, in all honesty, we need some better Tanis for, oh my god, those epic flips, Lazar. I know, boys, I know. Look at that focus. Look at that focus. Absolutely beautiful. He's a flipper. You know, he's part dolphin. His mama made him with a dolphin. I don't want to go into many details, but simply another kill for us, thanks to Jaina. Unfortunately, we kind of got a disconnect there, but the start of the game has been uh, absolutely glorious. Now, amateur opponent does have more use on certain maps and less on others. On this one is absolutely 100% the way to go because of the Immortals. It deals 150% extra damage to non-heroes. EpicFlips.com once again, Laser. I know, I know, I know. Gotta do it, gotta do it. If you ain't a flipper, then don't play Artanis. You know how Kerrigan, if you can't combo with Kerrigan, don't play Kerrigan. If you can't flip with Artanis, then don't play Artanis. That's how it goes. We're gonna back away from this one. We're gonna pick up Shield Surge now. What Shield Surge does is increases the amount of your shield by a whopping 75%, but only if you're below 25% health, okay? This is part of the reason why Artanis is such a deceptive dueler. Epiflix.com. If you don't get killed, what am I supposed to do? You guys gotta kill. You guys gotta kill. Look at me, staying with this guy. Doing all that damage. Doing all that damage. What, he doesn't have E? Are you kidding me? He's gotta have E. Didn't have E there to flip him out, but we did manage to pick up another kill, and it's level 5 and 4 as Sergeant Hammer does manage to hold the line on top lane. Wait, wait for that globe. Ah, oh, damn it, it's my fault. I should have been there, I guess. Still one tower up for the enemy team. I don't want to flip Genjutsu because Genjutsu can E out, as you probably know. So yeah, Artanis doing pretty well in the meta. You see plenty of Artanis. He's more... A sought after pick on certain maps and less so on others. Like, for example, this one on Battlefield of Eternity. If you can get an Artanis and a Sylvanas, you gotta win the game. If you don't, give up on the game forever, never play it again. I know, I'm exaggerating, but yes, definitely Artanis is a worthwhile pick on this map. I'm on Lily. I'm just zoning her out from the rest of her team. I see Jaina there as well. And kill. I'm still in the fray. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Mr. Dehaka, double kill. I love this tracer, man. This tracer has been focusing so good. The problem is I do not have my flip. Not yet. I have it now. No! No, I don't. Crap. I didn't have it when I pressed it. Crap. Oh, well, we try, but still a double kill is better than nothing. Now we're gonna reposition over here to this immortal. As you can see, I do have slight mana issues. Usually these get alleviated by level 89. From what I saw, I don't really feel the need to go back for mana anymore. And while you're doing immortal, if you're low on mana, keep your mana for your W, Twin Blades, which amateur opponent. This is what you should be doing. Talent level 7 is gonna be follow through. Once again, we are playing the uncontested meta for Artanis, and he is a meta hero. You know what, I know there are two globes there and I could stay in, but I prefer to go back, get full on mana, so Genji kills Jaina. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, no problem, 76, we do have the talent advantage. And we will go to the top lane, we don't need three people on bottom, these guys continue to fight, Tracer is very ballsy because she had a wonderful start to the game, got a couple of kills, uh, and now she's kind of overzealous. And then again, if you do keep the enemy team occupied on another lane, then you leave the immortal to push uncontested. The problem is, I have no backup here and he's gonna tongue me. 
or try to. So therefore my focus will be solely on not getting tongued and getting some wave clear on. Okay, is he... Oh, okay, he's done. I might die here. Crap. I'm dead. Might as well go down in flames. Um, alright, so nobody came to top lane for the Immortal push. It's only the first Immortal of the game, which is not, in all honesty, quite that important. Usually he only gets tower and gate. The reason why he got that uh, fort to 40%, 30%, whatever it is, um, is because the enemy team was busy on the bottom lane, you know, fighting my guys and all whatnot. That did open up the possibility, however, of pushing bottom lane and getting a fort. So there you go, my sacrifice, I guess, wasn't totally in vain. Uh, let's check some stats. How is Artanis and damage? You might be wondering that and I gotta say boys bruiser level damage because this is what Artanis is I have two key components when I think bruiser. I think Artanis and I also think Diablo These are my go-to standard bruisers in Heroes of the Storm and Sonya as well. Yes, let's not forget about Sonya I'm gonna go on the back line I'm on the Naziba Major League flips on Nazima once again, Lazar. Yes, I know. Somebody's got to do it, boys. If it's not going to be me, then who is it going to be? And that's going to be another kill for my team. Thank you very much. So, yes, he is a bruiser. Can Artanis solo tank like a, a situation like this? Yes, he can. But I got to say, it's not the best of ideas in the world. He shines mostly in double bruiser's compositions. So, this is what I recommend you guys keeping him for. Double bruiser composition. This is where he shines, flip, then follow up maybe with another tank, CC, something like that. That is how you do it. Suppression Pulse is gonna be our heroic and it's also the meta choice on our tennis as I kinda look for that major league flip for my team. Tank failed. This is a not a good situation. Damn it. Bitch die. One for one. No, one for nothing so far. It's gonna be one for one in a second because I will die! Fuck, I didn't think Stukov would do that. I went back in to W somebody to get a bit more shield and a bit more damage before I die because I didn't think Stukov would use the disengage there. If I would have just went straight back, I might have had a better chance at survival, but that's gonna be our second death of the game, and here's more stats. It's okay. If I die and the rest of my team doesn't die and we get more kills than we lose, it's fine. I'm doing my job. And again, I am Artanis. I am not necessarily the most tankiest tank. If you want comparisons for tanks, then think Joanna and Muradin, okay? These are my benchmark tanks for the most part. Those guys are so awesomely tanky. Artanis doesn't compare to how much tankiness those guys got. In order for Artanis to get his tankiness, what he must do is keep on rolling into shield. In order for him to keep on rolling into shield, he must be allowed to attack a blind. Come on, those blinds should allow the kill, right? There you go. Uh oh, Genji. Genji stealing the kill there. Ring by Jaina doesn't land, unfortunately. Gonna queue out, maybe I don't get stunned. I'd still get stunned though. I'm gonna focus on this. Alright, once again. Yuji no Keo Kure. Kure, Kure. Oh, he stopped. I can't believe he actually stopped there and didn't get flipped. Good amount of damage. What, 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 what is your problem? What is your problem? Shut up already. They did manage to pick up another kill. It's pointless to chase Genji, so I'm just gonna focus on the Immortal, especially once again that I do have that amateur account. Don't get stunned, please. Gotta focus on the back line. Gotta be keep these guys away from my team. Even gonna use blinds. That will land. I'm in a bit of a tro- uh Oh, crap. I'm gonna die. I don't have backup, so I'm just gonna fight till the end. And that's gonna be uh, my third death of the game. Uh, rest of the team, unfortunately, wasn't really in position. They were kind of backing away. Sergeant Hammer is now all sieged up. Good damage on the enemy immortal. Good damage by the Jaina as well. She needs one more Q to secure the kill on Nazebo and she gets it. But now she will die to the Haka. Maybe knock back, maybe not back for Jaina. Maybe knock back for Jaina. Maybe knock back for Jaina. No, she does manage to survive though. And we pick up another kill on the Haka. It's a good situation for my guys. Another kill, another fail ring out of Jaina. And that's gonna end up in a 1-2-3-4-4-1 uh, for our side. Uh, let's pick up our next talent at level 13. Like I said, once again, we are going meta and it is triple strike. It's gonna do wonders against that variant as long as I can time it right so it doesn't hit his parry. Just look at the top of his head. You know, count cooldowns in your head and look at the top of his head at that small little bar. When it's just about to go out, pop W and go for it. I say it just uh, like right before because um, he can have another stack, so you gotta be careful at that one as well. 
Alright, once again we got a full immortal level 14 to 12. We have the talent advantage. We have the talent advantage. What I have, which I don't really like, is free devs, but yeah. Some of them were my own bad, I gotta admit. But I'm not going in again alone, like last time. If they don't want to come here, then I'm just gonna stay. I'm gonna pop blinds. On the lily. I'm taking a lot of damage, so I'm backing away from this one. I'm gonna wait. Yuji no Kure. Used. Q through the enemy team. Good amount of damage there. Genji survives with basically no HP, but it is a Genji. It is expected at this point for him to survive like that. So to sum up about Artanis, because the game might be ending fairly soon, I love Artanis and I always have. The only problem with him is the fact that I cannot cancel my goddamn Blade Dash mid-animation. That would be so good. You guys remember when Artanis first came out and they showed us the trailer and everybody thought we were gonna be able to do that? Well, unfortunately, that is not the case. We can't do that. We can't cancel the damn animation. That's gonna be another kill thanks to Tracer on the enemy Genji and this, well, intents and purposes. No, 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 fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Leave her alone. Come here. Play with me instead, bro. Titan killer. That's gonna be another kill on Varian and of course GG the well played. So yeah, definitely recommend you guys try Artanis, but like I said before, if you can flip, forget about it, try it, practice it, you know, don't use your E too soon. Try to think how you want to land after you use your E. I mean, sure, you can get a good position for your team to get a kill like I did in this game, but it can also put you out of position, so think about that when you're using your E. And if you want to get long range E's, just try to look how the enemy player, the one you're trying to flip, will maneuver. That's all for now. I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you got any sorts of feedback for me, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm off. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.